This is a Cirrus SR22 equipped with Cirrus's TKS based flight into known icing package. This is a new option being offered beginning in early 2009. Departing from the so called inadvertent icing system Cirrus has offered previously, the known ice version has more protective surfaces and more TKS fluid capacity. It can also claim another first. It's completely integrated into the Garmin Perspective Avionics suite. Cirrus's Matt Bergwall recently checked us out on the new icing package. Cirrus decided to go with a flight and known icing package for uh, two main reasons. It adds utility to the aircraft and it adds capabilities to the aircraft. Flight and known icing allows a pilot to legally find the icing conditions, but more importantly allows the pilot to safely exit those conditions and continue on to the destination. There have been four main changes to the aircraft with the flight unknown ice system. The panels were re-engineered to allow uh, greater flow at different uh, envelopes. It also allowed uh, more coverage on the vertical surfaces and horizontal surfaces of the airplanes. There was added fluid capacity and uh, windshield spray nozzle to allow the pilot to well, see when there, if a lot of ice has exerted on their windshields. Also, the system's been integrated in the Garmin Perspective System to give the pilot good information on how long the system's going to last, and more importantly, if anything does go wrong with the system, what has gone wrong and what he needs to do. Although they may look alike, Cirrus says the known icing system shares few components with the inadvertent system. Two of the most noticeable changes are the redesigned wing panels and the vertical fin panels, the wing panels extend further aft cordwise so they protect against icing through a wider range of angles of attack. They also flow more fluid, which improves runback protection. The stall warning vane is electrically heated to protect it against ice. On the vertical fin, Bergwall pointed out a generous TKS membrane that flows fluid back to de-ice the rudder to protect it against ice. To protect against ice bridging on the tailplane, the Cirrus system has a unique elevator horn panel plus full leading edge protection for the horizontal fin. As in the inadvertent system, each prop blade is protected with its own slinger nozzle that directs fluid spanwise through rubber channels. To detect ice at night, the SEER system has ice lights on both sides of the airplane, which illuminate both the wing and the tail leading edges. The SEER system carries a lot of fluid, eight gallons and four gallon tanks in each wing. The system is intelligent enough to both track fluid and balance the two tanks. It also has what we consider a smart safety feature, different keys for the TKS fluid caps and the lockable fuel caps. After pre-flighting the aircraft in Florida, where it was cold enough to expect ice above 10,000 feet, Bergwall took us for a brief demo flight. Operating the system is simple. You simply select from three modes, normal, high, and max. As you can see in this clip, with the system flowing at max, the wing is thoroughly doused with TKS fluid across the entire cord from the wing root to the tip. The windshield nozzles actually have their own pump and clear a generous swath of the windshield. Although this is a complex system, Bergwall told us that the Garmin Perspective Avionics makes it easy to monitor. He explains how. Here's how the known ice protection system is integrated in the Sears Perspective by Garmin Avionics. When I turn the pump on, You'll notice there's a blue box that shows up under the mold that you're in, and it also gives you the duration of the fluid within that mold. There's little doubt that the new Cirrus icing system is the most sophisticated and capable de-icing system ever offered on a piston single engine aircraft. For more information, log on to the Cirrus website at cirrusaircraft.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.